In this video, I'm going to talk about the syndrome of myopathy. Myopathy. And myopathy means diffuse dysfunction of skeletal muscle. So let me just write that down first. Dysfunction of skeletal muscle. Now, skeletal muscle is not actually part of the nervous system, so you may be wondering why we would cover syndromes of disorder of skeletal muscle with neurological syndromes. And the reason for that is that the primary symptom we get with skeletal muscle dysfunction is weakness, which occurs more often from nervous system dysfunction. So we usually cover myopathy syndromes with neurological syndromes. So the primary abnormality we get with myopathy is weakness, loss of strength of skeletal muscle contraction, now we can get some different patterns of weakness with myopathy syndromes, but the most common presenting syndrome of myopathy is symmetric weakness of the proximal limb muscles. So let me just shade in, you know, the part, the big muscles of the limbs close to where they attach to the trunk. I'll just kind of shade these areas in here in this color to, rep to show that these areas become weak. And it's usually pretty symmetric. It's usually pretty much the same on the right side and the left side. And it's usually much more noticeable of the proximal limbs closer to the trunk than the distal limbs farther away from the trunk. So these big muscle groups around the shoulders and the hips and the proximal parts of the arms and the legs. Now the reason for this pattern is not totally clear. It may just be that these muscles have to lift the entire weight of a, of a limb all by themselves, causing noticeable weakness even with mild or moderate severity syndromes. With increasing severity of myopathy, all of the skeletal muscles may become weak, not only these symmetric proximal limb muscles, but the distal limb muscles and the trunk muscles and the muscles of the head and neck. Atrophy may also develop, in addition to weakness, over time, but the other lower motor neuron signs tend to occur less often and to a lesser severity than they do with dysfunction of the lower motor neurons themselves. So the myopathy syndrome can be fairly subtle, especially with mild severity syndromes. But what a patient will often come in complaining with is they're having difficulty standing up out of chairs because these proximal leg muscles are weak, or they're having trouble going upstairs, again from the proximal leg weakness or they're having trouble kind of reaching above their head to comb their hair or reach objects on high shelves because of the weakness of the proximal arms. And then when we examine them, that's where we find weakness as well in these mild or moderate severity cases. 